Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video is about the coordinates docker, which is under Windows Dockers and Coordinates. I've already got it open. And let's say you have a, there's a lot of information here and, and some things that you do it easy. Everything's, every setting is on here. My item is 15 by 15. My center of my object is on the 20 mark in negative 14 because my bed is 40 by 28. It even tells you how far away you are, like this indexing line is at six, negative 6.5 down. Well, there it is right there, negative 6.5 down. It tells you where you're at on the page and how much page you got left. But the couple of times I've used it is I've got a 15 by 15 uh, square here. Let's say I want a 15 by 15 rect or a ellipse. All I do, I have to hit it. And then I do, all I have to do is hit create and I've created an object. So now I've got a 15 by 15, well it's 14.999. But you can do a lot with this. If you have what I like and what I've used before, if you want to rotate this thing minutely, here you can type in the tech, you can type in the rotation. You can click on the rotation and it'll go up or down five degrees. And what I do like about it, you could go to 45 and you could replace the object or you could go back to 45 and you can add an object. So now you've got two squares that are ones that are 45 degree. So there's a lot of information here uh, playing around with this, you know, creating a star inside what's left of that rectangle. Create the object and you've got it. Anyway, so that's the coordinates docker. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.